Welcome back, Bob here. Today I would like to show you a bone meal based bamboo farm. It produces more than five chests of bamboo per hour. The design was inspired by Ethos Bambusla, but this one has a few advantages in my opinion. It has an automated pickup at the perfect hopper rate, which makes it easier for later processing. It's having a 100% bone meal efficiency, so that we get the maximum effect out of every piece of bone meal. And thirdly, it's fast, but it's also lag efficient. We use a lot less hoppers and droppers, and each of the components is activated less often. The design will come in two variants. One where you are receiving all the bamboo in uh, the chests in the front. And the second variant is where you just have the bone meal input and the output then is uh, wherever you like it to be. So you get the bamboo, for example, directly into your furnace array to jumpstart and fuel it. Let's also have a very brief uh, look on how the system is working. So we have two double chests of input up here for our bone meal. And as soon as we put the bone meal in, it's going to be converted into bamboo with this uh, simple contraption pushed here into the water stream and then just collect it here with the hoppers so you can see immediately bamboo uh, floating in. If we want to stop the system um, we can use for example this lock here but also the uh, if the bone wheel is empty then also the system automatically stops but this is like an additional option for a manual stop. That's about it for the uh, how it works, let's get into the tutorial. And these are the materials you're gonna need. You can also pause the video now to uh, prepare for the uh, build. I will also slowly scroll down, like so, and up again. Yeah, so the first two are, so the uh, slabs are just decorative blocks. You can, of course, use other slabs. And in the block of irons, also any other solid block will do. You don't need to have blocks of iron. All right, let's jump into it. We start off with the materials as you can see them in the hotbar and we'll do a five by six platform of andesite slabs. From here on we place five smooth stones on each side like so. Then we come in and place the south end with uh, one uh, gap to the corners and we place a grass block right next to it. Behind the smooth stone we put a solid block and then out here we come three blocks like so. We place one redstone dust down here. And now if you make the variant where you have the chests in the front, you will need also a repeater here on four ticks, a solid block here. And we will place now also the chests here in the front, like so. If you directly hook up your um, farm directly to uh, like a furnace area, you don't need all these chests here in the front. And you also don't need the repeater. And you also don't need the hoppers, which I will now place into the chest like so. Next up, I prepare the materials as you can see in the hotbar now. And if we go for the full version as well, we uh, will want to have a torch here with a full block on top and a torch here. This is again not required if you directly hook up your system to a furnace array. We then come and place a redstone comparator like so and we face the dispenser that it's facing into the grass block with the bamboo here. Then we put a solid block here and a redstone torch on the side. We put a node block on the side of the dispenser and then a solid block next to it. We also here next to the chest put two solid blocks and we face a hopper into the dispenser. 
Then we put one redstone dust here, connecting those. We prepare the items according to the hotbar again. And place a hopper down here. And the redstone lamp next to it. We place a temporary block here. And place the first sticky piston and another sticky piston on top. Afterwards we remove the temporary block. We come up here, three blocks on the side, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two here, like so. Next up, we put a solid block on top of the note block, as well as a solid block on top of the torch, and we put glass two up here on the side, as well as two glass in front of the sticky piston. We also come here and also put two glass here on top. On this side we place two redstone dust here with a torch here on top and a solid block here on top. Then we take our half slab like so and place down a repeater and have here another solid block. Very important we put this repeater on two ticks. For the bone mill input we place a double chest like so, a hopper into this double chest and then from the front another double chest on top. We put two solid blocks here over the piston and the glass as well as solid blocks here on the side for decoration as well as solid blocks up here. Now we want to place in the water, but first off we need to prevent the water from spilling out. So we will place white stained glass here, a temporary block here, where we put spruce in front, a spruce trapdoor, then we can break that block again, and we will close this area off here with glass. We can also then add the water. Please note that this plant cannot be in uh, the smallest growth rate uh, when you place the water, otherwise the water will flush in here. So it needs to be at least uh, yeah, grown a little bit, so you can also bone mill it for that. And if you do like so, then the water will not destroy the plant. So we water this here, this here and this, and the water should now flush in like so. We also want to close off here the top, so we break the bamboo and put some glass on top. For the top we grab our andesite slabs again as well as some redstone and we put some redstone dust here like so and cover up the rest with andesite slabs. Like so. Now we finalize the decoration with the items in our hotbar. So we put uh, trapdoors here, here, here and here, as well as here, here and here. And we put here item frames all along. The top ones will be two times bone meal and then we have one, two, three bamboo. We can close those here. Actually this was one too much. And we put a switch here and we can put a little sign here saying system lock. So this means that if this is on the system is actually locked. Yeah and this is already the farm done. Now you can uh, place a um, little bit of bone meal inside and uh, you will see that immediately bamboo is generated and with the switch you can at any time interrupt the process. Just also maybe a few words for the alternative if you want to hook it up directly to a furnace array for example. Like I said you will not need the three chests here in the front, you will not need the three hoppers here as well as not these two torches. And instead of guiding the water stream this way you can easily come and bring it over here 
to your furnace array like so and uh, transport it this way. One hopper will be enough for picking up all the loot because uh, this clock is exactly uh, timed so that it will produce 9000 items per hour, which is exactly what a hopper can uh, digest. Yeah, I hope you liked the tutorial. If so, yeah, leave a like down or a comment down in the section. Hope to see you next time. Take care and uh, bye bye.